In this video, we will discuss the grading of breast cancer and staging of breast cancer. So let's start with the grading. So according to the grades, breast cancers are divided into three categories, grade 1 or low grade, grade 2 and grade 3 or high grade. So before moving further, let us discuss what do we mean by grade. So grade actually correlates with degree of differentiation. Now what does the differentiation mean? So for example, if there is a cell, this undergoes mutation and transforms into a tumor or cancer. Now when the tumor or cancer develops, then it might have some resemblance to its parent, to its cells of origin. Then we will say that the tumor is well differentiated. However, if the tumor is very very different from its origin, from the cells from which it has developed, then we will call that tumor is very undifferentiated. The architecture and morphology of the developing tumor will be very different from the parent tissue from which it arises. So this is the concept of differentiation and those tumors that are well differentiated are grade 1 or low grade and those that are undifferentiated are grade 3 or high grade and obviously grade 3 or high grade tumors have a worse prognosis. Now for grading we use a scoring system called Nottingham histological score. We will discuss this Nottingham histological score. It is actually based upon three parameters and these three parameters classify the grade into grade 1, grade 2 and grade 3. And the features that help us to divide into these categories are tubule formation, nuclear formation and mitotic count. You can simply remember it by mnemonic T and M although we use the term T and M for staging but let us use here as a mnemonic. So T tubule formation and nuclear pleomorphism and M mitotic count. Now let us discuss each of these. So as far as tubule formation is concerned, in grade 1, you will see tumor in the form of tubules. In grade 2, when the tumor loses its differentiation, there will be only some tubules. And in grade 3, where the tumor completely loses differentiation, there will be no tubules and just nests and sheets of cells. Secondly, as far as nuclear pleomorphism is concerned, in grade 1, there will be no pleomorphism. Pleomorphism means variety in the structure and shape. So in grade 1, which are very well differentiated tumors, there will be no variety of the shape or of the architecture. So all, almost all of the cells will have small round nuclei. In grade 2, some pleomorphism will be present, while in grade 3 or highly undifferentiated tumors, marked pleomorphism is present. Now the third point is mitotic count, which is an indicator of proliferation. In grade 1, there will be few mitotic figures. So the grade 1 or low grade tumors are actually proliferating not at a very high pace. Grade 2, in grade 2 breast cancer, the mitotic counts will be many and in grade 3, there will be marked number of mitotic counts and along with this there will be area of tumor necrosis. Why there is tumor necrosis? Because when the cells are proliferating at a very rapid rate, then obviously these cells ultimately have to die. So if the tumor is proliferating very fast, it is actually dying very fast. So you will see area of tumor necrosis in grade 3 or highly undifferentiated tumors. So these are the grades of the breast cancer that are classified according to Nottingham histological score. Remember the three parameters tubule formation, nuclear pleomorphism and mitotic count. So this is all about grading. Now let's discuss the staging of breast cancer. So the staging of breast cancer is given by AJCC and first of all before learning this table that is given in Robin's pathology, let us see the last line that is very important. It says that the group listed in table are based on the characteristic of primary carcinoma and axillary lymph nodes. For rare women with involved internal memory lymph nodes or supraclavicular lymph nodes, there are additional staging criteria. Now it is very important to understand because, so let me explain it. What it is saying? It is saying that whenever breast cancer develop, it can involve axillary lymph nodes most commonly, but sometimes it can involve internal memory or supraclavicular lymph nodes. But the staging criteria that has been given here assumes that only axillary lymph node metastasis is present. So this classification or this staging that is written here is according to axillary lymph node involvement. If internal memory and supraclavicular lymph nodes are involved, which is rare, 
but still if these are involved then a different staging criteria is used it is not given in robin's pathology it is usually written in books of surgery like belle and love but as we are discussing pathology so we will learn according to the robin's pathology so let us discuss the staging of cancer most people think that it is very difficult to learn staging but if you see i will simplify it for you so whenever you learn staging no don't start with stage 0 1 2 start with the last or most dangerous stage that is stage 4 so what is stage 4 in stage 4 actually there is distant metastasis you can see there is distant metastasis only in the stage 4 below stage 4 distant metastasis is absent and in stage 4 what about t any size invasive carcinoma so size of cancer does not matter what about n negative or positive lymph nodes so even if the lymph nodes are involved or not it doesn't matter the only thing that matters is this 10 metastasis so this is stage 4 and obviously the 10 year survival rate in stage 4 breast cancer is only 5 percent so it has a bad prognosis now let's move to the stage 3 which seems very difficult to learn but let me simplify so listen to this mnemonic carefully so if the tumor is greater than 5 involved lymph nodes are equal or greater than 4 then stage is equal to 3 so how is it a mnemonic it says 5 4 3 so it is easy to remember and another point another precautionary measure to interpret this mnemonic is that here this sign is greater than t is greater than 5 here the sign is greater than or equal to so the lymph nodes involved are at least 4 equal to 4 or greater than 4 and here it is equals to stage 3 so let me tell you what does this mnemonic mean so this says if tumor is greater than 5 and lymph nodes involved are at least 4 equal to 4 or greater than 4 then stage is equal to 3 so if tumor is more than 5 centimeter in size then no matter how many lymph nodes are involved it is stage 3 similarly another condition is there that if number of involved lymph nodes are at least 4 or more than 4 then again stage is 3 so there are two ways we have studied in which tumor can be stage 3 it is that tumor is greater than 5 centimeter no matter how many lymph nodes are involved or if number of involved lymph nodes are equal to 4 or greater than 4 then no matter what is the size of cancer it is stage 3 so let us see so it says if invasive carcinoma is greater than 5 centimeter in size then negative or positive lymph nodes which means whether lymph nodes are involved or whether they are not it doesn't matter it will be stage 3 and obviously metastasis will be distant metastasis will be absent as we have discussed that it is present only in stage 4 second is that if lymph nodes involved are at least 4 or greater than 4 then the size of cancer doesn't matter any size invasive carcinoma it will be stage 3 and a third condition for stage 3 is that invasive carcinoma with skin or chest wall involvement or inflammatory carcinoma again number of involved lymph nodes will not matter it will be stage 3 so remember our mnemonic if t is greater than 5 or lymph nodes involved are equal to 4 or greater than 4 then the tumor will be stage 3 no matter how many lymph nodes or what is the size of cancer respectively and another condition was that invasive carcinoma is involving the skin or chest wall or it is inflammatory carcinoma inflammatory carcinoma is the one which invades the dermal lymphatic resulting in the inflamed appearance of breast in that case also tumor will be stage 3 so now we have this learned stage 4 and 3 now let's ignore stage 2 for a while and start from 0 and 1 so stage 0 is called carcinoma in c2 so if there is ductal carcinoma in c2 or lobular carcinoma in c2 which means that tumor cells are not invading the basement membrane then it will be stage 0 but what does stage 1 mean stage 1 is simple to remember that if the tumor is less than 2 or equal to 2 centimeter in size then and there are no metastasis or only micro metastasis in lymph nodes it will be stage 1 so let us revise stage 1 again in stage 1 the size of tumor is 2 cm or smaller and lymph nodes involved are 0 lymph nodes involved must be 0 then only we can call stage 1 so in stage 1 no axillary lymph nodes are involved or there may be micrometastasis but grossly no lymph nodes are involved but the size of tumor must also be less than 2 cm now we have discussed stage 0 1 3 and 4 
and only thing that is left is stage 2 you can remember it by exclusion but let us also remember it and study it now there is a small typographical error in this robin's pathology they say that if invasive carcinoma is greater than 2 cm or if invasive carcinoma is greater than 5 cm but equal to or less than 5 cm so let us correct it first here when they are saying greater than 2 cm it is actually less than 2 cm you can confirm it through internet or other resources and if it's here if it is saying invasive carcinoma greater than 5 but less than 5 it is actually greater than 2 but less than 5 less than or equal to 5 now let us discuss now so if tumor is less than 2 we studied that if tumor was less than 2 or equal to 2 but no metastasis to lymph nodes were present it was stage 1 but if the size is less than 2 but at least one lymph node but no more than three lymph nodes are involved it is stage 2 let me ref let me rephrase it again if the size of cancer is more than 2 if the size of cancer is less than 2 here see the correction if size of cancer is less than 2 but at least one lymph node is involved it is stage 2 and if that size of tumor is more than 2 but less than 5 then even if 0 lymph nodes are involved it will be stage 2 it is difficult to remember because it seems complicated but let me rephrase it again so uh, so a breast cancer can be stage 2 in the following two if the size of cancer is less than 2 and at least one lymph node is involved or if the size is greater than 2 but less than 5 then even if no lymph node is involved or up to 3 lymph nodes are involved it will be stage 2 uh, and the 10 year survival rate for stage 0 cancer is 92 percent for stage 1 it is 87 for stage 2 is 65 for stage 3 it is 40 and for stage 4 it is 5 now i know the staging has been complicated so let me discuss it by examples because when you see it by examples you will remember it easily so let's suppose a woman presents with breast cancer and the size of tumor is 3 cm and number of lymph nodes number of axillary lymph nodes that are involved are 3 in number and distant metastasis is absent what is the stage so can it be stage 4 no it cannot be stage 4 why because in stage 4 cancer there is distant metastasis which is absent in this case can it be stage 3 now let's remember of over mnemonic over mnemonic was that if tumor is greater than 5 or if number of lymph nodes are greater or equal to 4 then stage is equal to 3 so does it satisfy any of the condition tumor is 3 cm in stage 3 tumor should be greater than 5 cm lymph nodes are involved lymph, number of lymph nodes involved is 3 in stage 3 lymph nodes must be at least 4 in order to be class in order to classify it in breast cancer remember only one of these conditions need to be satisfied but here none of the condition is being satisfied so it is not stage 3 so it is not stage 4 it is not stage 3 let now let's see whether it is stage 1 or not in stage 1 the size of tumor is less than 2 cm but here it is 3 cm so obviously it is stage 2 now let us justify it the size of tumor was 3 cm lymph nodes involved are 3 so you can see if the size of tumor is greater than 2 but less than 5 which applies to our patient because in her the size of tumor is 3 cm and if lymph nodes involved are 0 to 3 and in our patient it was 3 lymph nodes involved so it was stage 2 now let's discuss another example so if a patient presents with breast cancer its size of tumor is 5 cm or make it 6 cm number of involved lymph nodes are only 2 and distant metastasis is absent what is the stage can it be stage 4 obviously no can it be stage 3 in stage 3 what was the criteria if the size of tumor should be greater than 5 or number of involved lymph nodes equal to or greater than 4 does it satisfy this criteria you can see tumor is greater than uh, 6 cm uh, tumor is equal to 6 cm so it will be 
satisfying over criteria of stage 3. So, if tumor is greater than 5, that is 6 cm in our case, it will be stage 3. So, this is how you can remember the staging of breast cancer. It apparently seems complex, but if you try to learn the mnemonics that I have said and you try to read this carefully, you will be able to stage the breast cancer accordingly.